Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to change the tire of your dirt bike without any fancy tools or lubricants, just three small levers that you can carry with you in every ride. So stick around. Changing a tire with all the fancy gear and machines, it's easy, but they can be extremely expensive. And besides that, you can't carry those when you're riding and obviously you won't do, use them when you're changing the tire in the middle of nowhere. So let's face it, it's always handy to know how to change the tire with some levers. To start off, we're gonna unscrew or loosen completely both lock beads and the valve. As soon as you removed all the air from the tube, you press on the walls. It should make this sound. This allows the, um, the tire to move inside the rim so it has more room simply to insert the levers to remove it. So we'll start by using the hooked part of the levers to hook on the, um, on the tire and we'll space the levers around one palm apart. To be sure that you are locking the, or that the lever is well placed, if you try to pull it and it doesn't come off, it's because it's well placed. And you can use the sprocket to hold the levers. For example, imagine that on the third lever this was really hard. What you do, you repress on the tire so it gets inside the rim and it will help you every time. In this case, for example, you remove the three, the three first levers. You place this straight edge of the, of the lever inside to help it get in the tire. And with the, the hooked part, you get it in. One small detail, never insert the iron or the levers exactly where the beads are and the valve is. The rest you can use your hands. You turn your wheel and the other side usually it's a lot easier since you have one of the walls already out. One super tip, if you push the lever against the knobs, it will actually be easier to insert the, the lever. Out. Now take the wheel, you let it sink on the tire, and where the valve is, you try to place the lever across the rim and the tire, like this. You pull it up, you make sure that the valve comes off. Now, go for it. Do your best Hulk impersonation to take it out. So this part is where I do things a bit differently from a lot of people that use tubes as well. Firstly, I always use an ultra heavy duty tube, which is around four millimeters in thickness. So it's, it's quite good, but it doesn't protect you from everything. So what I do is, obviously I've punctured before. So I cut the punctured tube and wrap it around the good one. This is good for two scenarios. If you do hard in the rural, for example, 
it lets you keep the tire pressure a bit lower without risking so much puncturing uh, so it allows you to have traction without the increased risks or if you want to ride a bit faster it allows you to have a good pressure on the tire and keep it safe as well to sharp rocks or even the rim itself so double the protection and you have half the probability of puncturing obviously that having so much tube to get inside the wheel and the rim uh, changes a bit the way that you insert the tire and the tube itself so before thinking about putting the tire on the rim again I usually remove one of the lock beads simply because it helps tremendously on putting the tire on the rim and it's a lot quicker another top tip which is if you're at home doing this you can use some window cleaner or alcohol based cleaner which lubricates the tire and uh, rim and so it's a lot easier you don't have to use it but if you're at home and if, if you have it use it when you're on the trails and whatnot you might take a bit longer but you can do it as well I've done it tons of times unfortunately but you can do it, do it as well <laughs> Before inserting the rim on a tire, push the lock bead and try to place it as much as you can with only with your hands. This is where the window cleaner comes handy. Just spray it around. And you might think, why don't I have already the tube inside? I'll explain you in a little bit. So you push and now you work you work it around so it starts getting in. You can actually use these levers or this hook part to actually pull the tire in. It's quite useful. Now, although it might seem doing or undoing things, I'm gonna take this wall out again so the rim is completely inside the tire. It's super easy because you don't have any tube inside. So now, you have your rim completely inside the tire. The lock bead is going to be the last thing to insert. We'll start by placing the valve on the rim. So it has its shape, but it's mushy at the same time. You line it and you pull it inside. that it's in you take the nut and you give like two turns only for it to not pop out again like this now comes a tricky part and it's just a matter of time it can, it, it can take some time but it will get in so just work around it and try to get it in completely One thing really important that if you don't do it right in this phase you'll have to take it all out and it's really really annoying which is after putting, putting the, the tube completely in 
make sure that the valve is straight. So right now the valve is not completely straight. It's a bit like leaning right. So what you do is you spin the rim to make it completely straight. So it's leaning right, so I have to twist the, the rim a bit right as well. Like this, this is perfect. And now you spin it almost to the end, you don't have to completely lock it already. Tighten it just with your fingers. Like this, like this is perfect. Now we're gonna insert the second lock bead. The hole is right here on top and what we'll do is take one of the levers, cross it over the rim, push it up, just take this ribbon upwards so the lock bead can get in. Push it over, you placed it, now the ribbon goes up and you let it go. You might think that removing the lock bead and then reinserting it might be overcomplicating things, but actually just having one extra lock bead on the rim uh, takes twice as much just to work the tire and the tube around to get it in place. So it simply, it saves your fingers. At the end of it all, it saves your fingers because trying to work a tire in a tube with little to no room for it to move, it's really, it's gonna bust your fingers at the end and, you, and you'll pretty much give up <laughs> trying to change the tires at home. So it simply saves your fingers. So now let's get the tire in the rim. We'll start off by always getting one of the lock beads in and usually I start where the valve is as well because once the tire gets in the valve stops moving and you don't have any risk of uh, pinching or anything like that. You can start by placing these three irons like this and another thing start with the sprocket up because the hardest part is when you put the second wall in and so if you have the brake disc on this side you won't risk having your knuckles against the sprocket which trust me it's a trip to the hospital if you really mess it up. Lock bit in the middle, valve in the middle and now you work away, away around it. Push the lock bit in and now the tire. To make sure that you never, never pinch the tube, whenever you get one of these levers in, pull them out and try to feel the lever against the rim and not anything squishy in between. That way you will never pinch the tube. When it starts getting tricky, press against the walls. And you see that the walls just gave in and that means that you will have a lot more room to work the tire around it. If you need, use a foot. One little detail. If you start pulling the lever and you hear something snapping, it's the beat of the tire and you should never rip it. So instead of Having such a big distance between levers, bring it a bit closer. And this makes the whole difference. Again, press it. With these two, press the lock with the second lock bead. And it's in. One wall, another to go. Again, we'll start with the lock bead that has the valve nearby. Up. 
honestly, in doubt, it's better for you to give small bites the whole way around than actually trying to overdo it and puncturing the tube. One thing that actually can happen on the final phase of getting the tire in is being really, really hard to get the levers on the rim. So what you do is you have one holding the tire and imagine that you can't get in like this. It's, it's too hard. This distance is too big, clearly, at this, this phase of the, the tire change. So what you do is you alleviate this one, you let this one in closer, like it's, a, it's like three, five centimeters or one inch apart. Now you press this one back again and you chain and you do the same. Obviously like hold this one, but now the trick is doing this all around it until it gets completely on. Alleviate, get it in, press back and press back again. Press on the walls for the tire to get in. Like at this point, you're, you're just biting them one lever at a time. So back and back. Alleviate, you get them in. And when at this point, it's really hard to just get any bit of lever in. It's usually when the tire is ready to get in. Done. It's the only way that I have so far found out that it never punctures and even if it's in the middle of nowhere as you could see I didn't use any lubricant to get the wall in the, the wall of the tire in and it's not particularly any soft tire or any hard tire it's a medium medium toughness tire so if I can do it like this you can do it with any kind of tire. To finish it off pump some air back in and I'll advise you to pump it way too much than you should. Uh, like for example, usually you, you'll use that one bar. And so what I'll do is I'll pump two bars of air in so the tire can set properly on the walls of the rim. To be ready to ride, you just have to tighten the lock beads and the nut of the valve and you're set to go. Now you know how to change the tire with only three small levers. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions about this method, leave on the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.